It's the number one question on everybody's lips. Are Resmen machines safe and free from foam gate? Well, let's find out. Hold your breath. Excuse the pun. G'day guys, hope I didn't give you too much of a heart attack with that introduction, but look, it's true. The ResMed AirSense 10 does have a small piece of foam and it sits exposed directly over the turbine intake. Right, in fact, 90% of CPAP machines have some sort of sound insulation foam in them. But before you go and put your hazmat suits on and start tearing open your device, digging around looking for any foam inside, <laughs> It's important to understand that not all foam is bad. Not all foam is gonna break down, not all foam is toxic, not all foam is going to be ingested into your lungs and potentially give off carcinogenic gases, okay? Foam is actually really important to CPAP machines. It, if you didn't have foam inside them, they'd be a lot noisier and they'd be a lot harder to sleep with. It'd be like sleeping next to a jet engine every night, okay? So it is an important component of the CPAP manufacturing process. That being said, I imagine that all manufacturers across the board will be reviewing their foam components of their machine and also the placement of that foam inside their devices. Now, I'm just gonna read you a statement here from ResMed and then we'll talk a little bit further. Okay, so on Monday, June 14th, 2021, very dark day for the industry, Philips issued a US voluntary recall notification and rest of world field safety notice for certain CPAP and ventilator devices. ResMed devices are not impacted by this recall and are safe for patient use. ResMed devices use a different material for sound reduction than the material used by Philips. So there you have it guys, ResMed coming out saying their foam is safe and their devices safe to use. So you can all breathe a great big sigh of relief for now. Now, if this foam was deemed to be dangerous, it would also be a really easy fix. It's super easy just to open up the casing, take the foam out and you're done. It's not like the Philips situation where the polyester based polyurethane foam, this dangerous foam, is completely sort of enclosed inside this turbine casing. It's really difficult to get it out, although we managed. So I think what's gonna happen is all the you Dream Station 1 users are probably gonna get this piece of equipment. It's a new casing. It's got a new white foam insulation inside it. They've said that that foam is safe to use. And I think, yeah, they'll replace this casing and then that'll be their solution for fixing the Dream Station machine. Now, just before I go, I would like to give a special shout out to another YouTuber over in the States. His name is Jason, otherwise known as the Lanky Lefty 27. Jason, big hello from Melbourne, Australia, mate. Thank you so much for your amazing support video the other day. Uh, you'll be happy to know that ResMed has backed off, the channel strikes have been removed, and we can keep fighting the good fight. All right, mate, take care, all the best.